Hi and welcome to this week's inbound debate. As Nick just pointed out to me, this is the 15th inbound debate, which is a bit of a milestone. Yeah. It's yeah. half of 30. So very true. yeah, this is the 15th debate. We're joined very by a very special guest, Martin Cullen, Managing Director of Rockstar Promotion. He's a bit of a rock star himself. Certainly am, that's right. And of course, Nick As Pateman, uh, Marketing Director of Inbound, and I'm your host, James McFarlane. Uh, and this week, we're talking about building relationships online. And the first question I want to speak, ask you guys okay. is, how do you build relationships online for your business? I'm going to start off with Nick. Right, okay. Um, I'm quite old school in my ways of, of, of dealing with people online. I tend to go down the forum route, um, just because sort of back in 2005, before Facebook really took off, before Twitter took off, forums were where everyone was. There was sort of a forum dedicated to everything. Um, web, web design, web development, SEO, um, I think there was like Acorn Domains as well, just like a domaining forum. Um, certainly I've always been sort of a forum kind of person, um, just because you can kind of build more, I think you can build stronger relationships on forums. I think Twitter, you can kind of uh, uh, have a bit more con continuity with your relationship, like you can have small back and forwards chats, but with, with forums you can like, you can go further and actually explain, you know, uh, an answer that you had to someone's question. You can go in and kind of, Give yourself, make yourself, or position yourself more as an expert through a forum or through someone where you can elaborate a bit more. What about yourself, okay. Martin? I think in terms of our kind of relationship uh, B to C to the customers, I think we, um, the two that we, uh, the two platforms we use most um, are Facebook and Twitter. Um, I think that's because the industry in which we work is kind of an entertainment, uh, an entertainment industry. So I think it's. Uh, the, the functionality of some of those things is really good. So for example, with Facebook, um, we build a big part of getting new fans is through our photography. So we, we put photos of our events online and that makes people come to our page and then like the page. And then we've kind of, you know, because the, the relationship is is less intimate than the one Nick describes. It's not yeah. so, you know, it's, it's a very superficial relationship, but it's an yeah. important one all the same. Um, yeah. And I think one thing, just to add on that though with Twitter, Twitter's something really that's been the last year really where we've used Twitter a lot and what that's very good for is getting specific bits of useful information to customers so mm. things like where they can buy tickets or if we've got say some transport to an event, at a yeah. student event, the specific times because people then very quickly can retweet that and share that with the friends. Yeah, so yeah. and that's very much B2C isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> what we do at Inbound is just mostly B2B and it's more about kind of developing relationships with other agencies, other people, like yeah. other experts in the industry rather than um, kind of trying to get someone, like trying to sell something on Twitter, mm. which works very well for I you. Think the, yeah, I think the interesting thing um, with it as well from our point of view is because the way we would sometimes um, generate leads though for people that want to work with us from a B2B point of view would be through them seeing the content, etc., that we put out to our customers. So yeah. through social media, we put content out to our customers and that will show that we are being successful. Therefore, we will generate some B2B value out of that yeah. activity yeah. because they will, you know, see it and think, oh, that might be someone that I want to work yeah. with. So it's, yeah. it's, I think it's, there is a bit of crossover. I mean, fr from our point of view, like with the mothering stuff, we actually build B2C and B2B. So yeah. with B2C, we use Facebook and Twitter Facebook um, is good for us uh, just to push out stuff uh, to people, yeah. but we find Twitter really works to uh, start a conversation mm. with like a lot of, with a group of different yeah. people. Yeah. Um, and from B two B point of view, we just use this really really simple technique, which is so kind of it's so powerful for us. Powerful for us. Basically, if anyone mentions our business or talks about our business in a post. All we do is we just shoot the author an email and go, thank you very much for you know, mentioning yeah. us. Um, if you need anything or if you want us to speak about your business on our sites, please let us know. Yeah. And like more often than not, they'll get back to you and go like, oh, thanks so much for reading it. You know, If you've got anything else, send it through. And yeah. that for us has been a really powerful relationship but yeah. it's so simple as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, forums, what I was saying is very different in Twitter and Facebook. You can get the word out there really quick. Forums, not everyone's on a forum, whereas everyone is on Facebook, everyone is on Twitter pretty much. Um, so yeah, for, forums like a different angle to networking. It's more about building like quite a close yeah. relationship with someone and then sort of like developing that maybe on Skype or, or a bit on Twitter, but no. Yeah, okay, and, and um, so I'm gonna go on to the second question. We kind of overlapped to the second question no. I have. So I'm gonna change it bad slightly. Host, host. Um, oh, yeah. Basically, what is your favorite platform for your business to build relationships on and why? And I'm well. gonna start off 
Have I given away my answer? So. With Martin. Okay. Because I, yeah, I know you use Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, right? we use both kind of in, in equal measure. Um, I, th- I think probably my favourite, just because it was so critical to us getting started in, in, in this business, is Facebook. Purely because if I had to choose, for certain things, Twitter is brilliant. So there are certain things where that kind of, you know, creating hype about something or, a, you know, viral hype about a specific thing. But in terms of the amount of things that you can do on Facebook and the broad functionality and value that it adds to our business and the things, you know, the various things we can do, I think Facebook is my favourite because it, you know, there's it, just so many different ways in which it helps us engage with our customers. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there are so many things it does that, so take like the photos thing, which is critical for us. That, that's really the only platform where you can effectively build larger numbers of you know fans or followers using the photography and things like that. So yeah. I think uh, Porsche, I'd say if I had to have to take one as a favourite, be favorite. Are you, yeah. you going to say forums? I mean, uh, or are you going to say anything mind. else in your I've favourite just, I've miraculously <laughs> changed my mind. No, I've already skipped the question a bit there. Um, so yeah, I mean forums are great. Uh, personally, I. From an SEO point of view, they're great because you can get that close relationship and then you can like kind of look to go down the linking route. If you start making friends in the similar industry, you can start getting them to sort of do you favors, maybe get links from them, get them to post on other sites, that kind of thing. Um, but I do, I mean, I really enjoy Twitter. It's I not mean, that yeah, I, yeah. I don't find as much use from Twitter. I mean, it's great to kind of keep active, get, get sort of interaction with other people. And I enjoy sort of speaking to people in the industry, um, but certainly, with, with forums, at least you can kind of expand on what you're yeah. going to talk about. I mean, f- for me, I'm going to kind of cheat because I'm going to say two platforms. Um, email, email, email. From, from the B2B point of view, I find that so strong, yeah. um, just shooting an email. And then I try and transition all my contacts over to Skype um, because it's not like a social network, but if you've got, if you're yeah. on, I'm on Skype all the time yeah. um, and I can just, you know, ping over little ideas to people and that's like how you, how I've built like some of the strongest relationships I have online. Um, and thirdly, the third question is, I don't know, I don't know how Martin's going to react to this, um, but how many cyber friends do you guys have? And I'm going to... I'm going to define cyber friends, right? It's people that you would consider yourself quite close with, but you've never met in real life. Okay? And I'm going to ask, I'm going to let Martin think about it. If yeah, let me think about any. it. Yes. I'm going to ask Nick. <laughs> so I, I don't count them. I mean, I'm oh, supposed okay. to have a number. So like, am I supposed to have a number? Like, I, I don't know. Big shot over there. I, I actually, I, well, I, I don't really, I mean, to be honest, it, it, now it's more about meeting people in person. I. I don't have as many cyber friends as I once used to when I was sort of back in my gaming time. So you know, have a cyber friend or two. But now it's much more like you know my relationships. There might be like a couple on Skype that I speak to on a regular basis. But no, I would probably count on one hand. What about, what about? I think I mean I have a lot of cyber friends, but in terms of that I've never met, yeah. I would say I do have some, and and that that would actually actually that would go a little bit cyber in the discussion. That's probably from like business to business contacts I've made through either Facebook right. or Twitter or even LinkedIn, um, which I use on like a personal level in terms of my you know, position within the business. Um, because so, for example, I might have a relationship with an agent that I speak to on the phone, um, but that, you know, and I speak to, you know, online yeah. and stuff like that and engage with on Facebook that I might speak to far more than someone I consider a very close friend um, that I only see maybe three, four times a year. So I would zero. say probably this. No, zero. 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 <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero. I would zero. say if you mean I've never spoken to them on any other yeah, media yeah, yeah, than, yeah. than, than online, then question. probably one or two yeah. in the industry. I this guy hundreds. Like so. personally, I've got I've got quite a few. I, a lot of my American friends are um, like just cyber friends because obviously I don't go to yeah. America a lot. Um, I have one friend in particular. His name's Corey. Right, and uh, we, we started getting in contact with each other. He he's like a personal trainer. He hooked me up with like a fitness plan as well. Cool. Like, and I kind of helped him with his business. But the first time that I spoke to him on Skype, it's kind of a funny story. I was quite tired, and I was like, "Look, man, I'm totally knackered. Right, I've got to get to bed." And he thought, because he's American, he thought knackered meant naked. So he thought, I was like, I'm yeah. so naked right now, man. <laughs> and he just put dot, dot, dot. So you're watching this Corey Hart, man, yeah. and, you know. And now you're best uh, friends. Yeah, yeah, now we're best friends. <laughs> okay. it's, it's that. Uh, but thank you very much to my guest, Martin nice. Cullen from Rockstar, um, Nick Payne from Inbound, and of course I've been James McFarlane. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.